Hi everyone, today I want to share with you guys top 10 budget prime lenses for Canon. And I'm going to start from the widest angle lens and we'll go up. So let's start. Alright, number one on my list is the Samyang 40mm f2.8. And you can buy it on Amazon for $279. This lens is also really famous for astrophotography. Um, f2.8 is a really wide aperture that allows your sensor to get more lights in when you're like taking picture of uh, at night or, or the star and galaxies or Milky Way something like that. I usually use this lens with my tripod and uh, take picture of like uh, nighttime especially. Uh, this lens is a manual focus lens and actually this is like you need to focus manually and set up the aperture manually but the lens build quality is really good. I personally actually use this lens for a couple uh, wedding uh, portrait shot as well. Like just ignore the dis distortion. If I want to have something, you know, you see some picture that have like this fail flying or uh, something with a huge background. Uh, this lens is really good and the image quality is really sharp. And um, plus when you're using this lens, you usually have your tripod with you and it's not hard at all to um, focus when you just like turn on the live view mode because you can just zoom in and then uh, like make sure it's focused and then you snap the shot. Um, so I really recommend this lens if you uh, if you want to go for a really wide angle lens. And number two on my list is the Canon 24mm f2.8 STM pancake lens. You can buy it on Amazon for $129. This lens is like known as the pancake lens. Um, it is only for um, it is only for APS-C camera. So if you have one of these Canon full frame camera, like 6Ds or the 5Ds, then you won't like this lens won't be able to fit in those camera. So I. I bought this for my APS-C camera and they basically like never leave each other because when you see like the uh, the the lens make the combo so uh, really portable and uh, the 24 millimeter is a wide angle lens it's make it uh, really wide and versatile to use you can use it for like travel or like just daily use um, just like basically anything and 2.8 is a wide angle, I mean it's a, sorry, 2.8 is a wide aperture, it allows a lot of lights in. So when you want to have like some kind of out of focus, uh, I mean the blurry background, this lens will also uh, provide that effect, I mean that result for you, for your end images. Number three on my list is this Canon 28mm f1.8 USM lens and you can buy it on Amazon for the used one, you can find the used one easy for like around $370 US dollars. This lens has a really wide aperture of f1.8 um, and the USM lens is like really quiet and fast focusing. Um, for me personally, like on my own experience, it's just like a little bit like sharing for you guys, I will not shoot this lens as f1.8 it's just it's the images f1.8 what well, it's like kind of soft with this lens comparing to other canon f1.8 lens so uh, i won't use it at f1.8 for me it's like how i cannot really use the images but i mean it's my personal experience some photographer can use it and you know they they work on the skill but i think this lens is a lot more useful when i shoot it from like f2.0 or 2.8 so this is just a little bit like my own personal experience i want to share with you guys i love using this lens for like event like events or group picture or um you know just taking picture of wedding or something because the wide angle lens is like really versatile and uh shooting from at least for me like 2.0 or 2.8 is like really good image quality really sharp and the build quality is good and solid the glasses is like really nice yep so this is the number three on my list
Number four on my list is the Sigma 30mm f1.4 Art. This lens you can buy on Amazon around $360. And this lens is an art series lens and it is at f1.4 aperture. It is really really wide aperture and that means it's like really good for like portrait photography when you want to separate your subject from the background. But this lens is actually only for APS-C camera. That means if you have one of these Canon uh, full frame camera, like uh, that 24 pancake lens, this one won't work with those lens unless you use an adapter or something to, to make it work. So, and this is like one of the cheapest uh, art series lens, like in the Sigma art. Uh, this is like one of the cheapest and sharpest. So if you have, if you're using an APS-C camera, this thing is really good for you on a budget for like portrait or like just like uh, daily travel photography. Um, and this lens is like only 5mm like a shorter from the 35 because this one is a 30mm. And but the price is like half cheaper. So yeah, like if you're using like one of these APS-C camera, this is like probably the best um, lens that you can get for like portrait and stuff when you want to have like lens that is a uh, wide and wider angle and number five lens is this Sam Yan uh, 35 millimeter f 1.4 and you can buy for um, buy this lens on Amazon for $399 so this lens is kind of like one of the most expensive lens on this list this budget list here it's still cheaper than I mean it's still under $400 so this is like my favorite, one of my favorite lens ever uh, on a budget. This lens has like wide aperture as f1.4 and um, lens that is like 35, 50 and 85 millimeter is really famous or popular among photographers to do portrait photography, especially this 35 because it is so versatile. You can use it for like travel or like family photo shoot that has more people in it so you can still have like you know good like not too far keep like good distance from you and the subject and still communicate with with the people that you're shooting with and the build quality of this lens is really good i really love the glasses and stuff yep and uh this lens you can see it's like a sam young lens here but actually my cover is like a rocking on so if you like, they are actually the same lens. So if you can find a walking on lens, this lens is actually like the same thing. It's just like different name. This lens is a manual focus lens. Doesn't mean you need to like do focusing and setting your aperture, everything in focus. And um, the focus ring is like really nice and smooth and easy to grab. And I usually shoot at like f1.4 because uh, I do portrait work. Uh, so if but if you want to like, change your aperture, it's so easy. You just like click it, and then like you know look at what aperture you want to shoot at, and then just use the focusing. Uh, especially for wider angle lens, I really don't mind using um, using manual lens because it is like it's really easy to just look at the the back of the camera, the live view mode. Because it's not the image, it's not that shaky. So if you just like turn on the light view more and then just zoom in to the to the person, uh, zoom into their eyes and then just like focus them, then you can get like really really sharp images with this lens. And on the market, on like the thirty five millimeter market, uh, this is like the best build quality on a budget, on like like under four hundred dollars. The Sigma Art is like double of the price and the. Canon 35 f 1.4 uh, Mark II is like a lot more. It's like a, a thousand something, and this thing is like under 400 with like really amazing um, build quality and picture or images quality that you can get. Um, yep. And the other thing that I consider getting with like putting together with this thing is the Canon. 35 millimeter f2 but that lens is a little bit over budget it's around 500 something so still this one is like a, and that one is f2 this is like a big stop two stop wider aperture so that's why i choose this one on my list instead of like other 35 millimeter lens on the market
Number six on my list is this Canon 40mm f2.8 pancake lens. It's a STM and uh, you can buy it on Amazon for $179. You can, this lens is like really great. You can do autofocus or manual focus. Uh, this lens is like one of the new new purchase that I got recently for my for my camera gear and I've been using my 35 for like a lot of photo shoot now and a lot of things but I decided to get this one because I was just like planning on a trip like I'm I was planning on another travel trip and then I wanted to I wanted to buy something more portable and good image quality so I got this lens a lot of photographer recommended and I've been using this for a couple of weeks now all these images is like really sharp and in f2.8 it's get in a lot of light it's not as like as many lights of the f1.4 but it's still like really usable especially during during the daytime so I think this one lens is gonna be a really great lens for like daily use or traveling especially for traveling because it's like so small it's make your camera like a lot more portable when you're just like you know traveling around or going from places to places or even like hiking or stuff so yeah that's why I got this lens uh, yep so I was just thinking like this lens and comparing to the 24 um, 24 millimeter the pink lens they basically look the same like the size and everything they kind of like feel the same so I was just thinking, you know, I already have the 24 pancake. If I why why am I getting that 40 millimeter pancake lens? The reason why I get this lens is I've been using full frame camera now. I basically I like don't really use my APS-C camera. So this means I want something that I can put it on my um, full frame camera. So I've been I've been like using this lens and getting this lens. It's so wide. It's nice, and um, I would say that if you are using one of these APS-C camera and you want to, you know, practice and just like get your photography going, you know, like you want to use it more, some lens that you want to, you know, use it every day or practice every day, then go with the twenty-four uh, pancake lens. And if you have one of these, you know, full frame camera, then definitely go with this forty millimeter, two point eight pancake SDM lens. Number five on my list is this Canon fifty millimeter f one point eight STM lens, the famous Nifty fifty that people call it. Basically, if you ask like any photographer, like a lot of photographer will recommend this lens for you if you are like beginner or even like some people now. Um, you know they they're going to like L lenses or some lenses that is more expensive they will still keep this lens because it's so so good so good uh, value of money it's really cheap it's only you can buy on Amazon for $125 and um, almost every photographer I mean a lot of photographer has this lens and this is a lot of photographers first prime lens and this is this was actually also my first prime lens uh, when I was starting photography like many many years ago I was using my um, Rebel you know my APS-C camera with my kit lens and then I upgraded to this one lens the prime lens and it just totally changed my photography you know my game like really level up everything and this one lens 50 millimeter is really famous it's a really famous focal length for taking picture of like events or portrait and f1.8 is really wide aperture that allows the background to be blurry and look really really nice for you guys so yeah i really recommend this one lens if you are just getting your first prime lens yeah if you are like getting your first prime lens then definitely get this one number eight on my list is actually also a 50 millimeter lens but this lens is the one point is a 1.4 lens so this is a brand new Yongno uh, the Chinese lens Yongno 50 millimeter f 1.4 I think this lens is like 2018 lens so it's really new and I got it just like you know right after they, they released this lens uh, I've been using this lens a lot more now because 
after having my nifty 50 this one last year and i just love the focal length 50 millimeter so i just upgraded to this 50 also canon the 51.4 lens and use it for many many years i have no problem with this but like i was just thinking which one lens is like better budget lens that i want to put it on my list and i just actually choose this one because this one lens you can get it on amazon for maybe around two to three hundred us dollar but this one lens you can get it brand new for uh, on ebay 177 dollars so for the money and the build quality and the image quality that i actually had another video that i compare both of them and i'll choose putting this lens because this is a, a way better like budget lens on a 50 millimeter f 1.4 which is like a stop a big stop like this 1.8 this 1.4 it's allow a lot more light in for your portrait photography so if you're like into getting more like shooting with portrait or people or something like really dreamy creamy background then definitely go with this lens and this is like actually like almost the same price like a little bit more expensive maybe like 50 dollars more expensive but you can get like 1.4 however one like one thing that i do not like about this lens comparing to this lens uh, is that this when it's focusing is a little bit more noisy than this one uh, but I've been shooting like outdoor a lot so it's not as noticeable so it really depends on where you are shooting if you are like shooting in studio or in you know something quiet environment then you will probably want to get something quiet yeah so but this lens is like really good quality it's so solid and the glasses is nice and you can get a new one a new one for like under for like around 170 us dollars so. so this is on my number eight on my list number nine on my list is actually my favorite lens that i want to share with you guys i use it a lot and this is like basically my best friend i've been just if i i mean i've been using like two camera bodies and for all my works, I just use this lens and my 35 lens, uh, the Samyang lens that I told you guys about. So this one is the Canon 85mm f1.8 USM lens. This lens is like the best, um, the best price, the best budget, um, the best budget portrait lens that you can get. And I just, I love, love, love this lens. There's like nothing I can come something about that uh, you can buy it on Amazon for uh, around 369 US dollar used and the the focusing is pretty fast and quiet and 85 millimeter is like my favorite for my own my favorite like shooting focal length uh, for my own style and stuff and the background is so nice so creamy even though if you are shooting at f1.8 the images is still really really sharp so I really recommend this one lens for like, you know, anyone if you want to buy a professional portrait lens. Number 10 on my list is the Canon 100mm f2.8 micro USM lens. You can buy on Amazon around $320. And this one lens is a micro lens. A lot of photographers love using micro lens because you can get like things in detail really, really sharp. Just like they're taking picture of like insects or take picture of like rings on weddings or even take picture of like eyeball like for like portrait shot it can get you really sharp images with their f2.8 uh, aperture and the focal length 100 millimeter can give you a really good depth of view to do portrait photography as well so this land can recommend it and it is also under 400 dollars so here are my top 10 uh, but Jake Prime lenses for Canon camera. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it, it is a little bit long um, Thank you so much for watching if you guys know any other good budget prime lenses for Canon camera Feel free to comment down below and let me know then I can see if I can review it later or add it to my list So thank you so much for watching again. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video